بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين The third hadith regarding some of the virtues of fasting عن أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال كل عمل ابن آدم يضاعف الحسنة بعشر أمثالها إلى سبعمائة ضعف قال الله عز وجل إلا الصوم فإنه لي وأنا أجز به يدع شهوته وطعامه من أجلي وللصائم فرحتان فرحة عند فطره وفرحة عند لقاء ربه ولا خلوف فم الصائم أطيب عند الله من ريح المسك متفق عليه Abu Huraira radiyallahu anhu narrated that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said All the actions of the children of Adam are multiplied A good deed is ten times its like up to seven hundred times Allah azza wa jal said Except fasting For it is for me And I give the reward for it He leaves his desires and food for my sake the fasting person has two times of happiness. Happiness when he breaks his fast and happiness when he meets his Lord. Indeed, the changing of the breath of the fasting person is better with Allah than the scent of musk. Agreed upon. The hadith is evidence for the virtue of fasting and its tremendous status with Allah the Most High. Four of its many virtues have come in this hadith. The first. Those who fast shall receive their full reward without reckoning. For all good deeds are multiplied by ten times their like up until seven hundred times. Except fasting, for its multiplication is not restricted to this number. Rather Allah Azza wa Jal will multiply it countless times. Because fasting is patience. And Allah the Most High said, إِنَّمَا يُوَفَّى الصَّابِرُونَ أَجْرَهُمْ بِغَيْرِ حِسَابٍ Which means, only those who are patient shall receive their reward in full, without reckoning. Al-Awza'i, رحمه الله, said, لَيْسَ يُوزَنُ لَهُمْ وَلَا يُكَالْ إِنَّمَا يُغْرَفُ لَهُمْ غَرْفًا Their reward will not be weighed or measured for them but scooped for them in handfuls. The second, Allah the Most High attached fasting to Himself as opposed to all other deeds. And this is, and Allah knows best, because it lasts the whole day. Thus, the fasting person finds a loss of his desires and yearning for them, especially on a summer day, due to its length and extreme heat. Allah also attached fasting to Himself because it is a secret between the worshipper and his Lord. No one knows it except Allah the Most High. It is a hidden matter. The creation does not see it and showing off does not enter it. The third. The fasting person when he meets his Lord will be happy with his fast. That is due to what he will see of his recompense and his rewards. And the recompense is a consequence of the acceptance of his fast, which Allah gave him success in completing. As for his happiness when he breaks his fast, then that is due to the completion of his worship, its soundness from the matters which corrupt it, and obtaining what he was deprived of that agrees with his nature. This is a happiness which is praiseworthy. Because it is happiness due to obedience to Allah, the completion of the fast for which abundant rewards are promised. The fourth, the scent of the mouth of the fasting person is better with Allah than the scent of musk. And this goodness will be found on the day of standing for judgment because it is the time in which the reward for the deeds will appear according to the narration. أطيب عند الله يوم القيامة Better with Allah on the day of standing for judgment. The scent, even if it is disliked to the noses of the people in this life, is better with Allah than the scent of musk, due to it arising from obedience to Allah the Most High. 
also among the virtues of fasting it is from the causes of forgiveness of sins and expiation of evil deeds Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu narrated that Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Man sama ramadana imanan wa ihtisaban ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min dhanbihi Whoever fasts Ramadan out of iman and expecting the reward from Allah he will be forgiven for what has proceeded from his sins agreed upon However these virtues are only for the one who fasted sincerely for Allah the most high from food drink and sexual intercourse and his limbs fasted from sins this is the legislated fast which the tremendous rewards are based upon the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said man lam yada qawla az-zuri wal 'amali bihi wal jahla fa laysa lillahi hajatun fi an yada ta'amahu wa sharabahu whoever does not give up false speech acting according to it and ignorance allah is not in need of him leaving his food and drink allahumma ahfaz lana siyamana waj'alhu shafi'an lana wa'inna fihi ala ta'atika wajannibna turuq ma'siyatika waghfir lana wa li walidina wa li jami' al-muslimin o allah preserve our fasting for us and make it an intercessor for us help us upon your obedience and distance us from the paths of your disobedience and forgive us our parents and all of the muslims